Hi everybody, welcome back to Darlingborough Model Railway. I'm Richard. Happy New Year everybody. I have decided that I'm going to start this year by sorting out the drawbridge section on that end of the shed. Obviously last year I had some major issues with it so I've decided that I'm going to rip it up and start again. Now a lot of the feedback I got suggested changing the hinges on the drawbridge section that I had before which were pretty pants. So I went out and I've bought these cabinet hinges. Now the good thing about these is they are actually really quite solid so I'm really hoping that I can get a nice solid fixture on that. As well as doing that I am going to replace the wood on the drawbridge with some acrylic sheeting so that the edges of the actual drawbridge where the track goes don't shrink or compress. I've also considered that rather than using the sort of standard pieces of set track um, like first and second radius um, I was thinking of having a large looped curve all the way across which kind of curves round over the drawbridge as well that hopefully might free up a little bit more track um, and let the trains run a little bit smoother as well. I will have to look into that because I don't know what kind of space I'm going to have on that end of the shed. You never know, a bit of jickery pokery might make it work. Anyway, first things first, I'm going to have to rip up this corner. I realised that I needed to remove the track from the drawbridge before I removed the drawbridge itself. Unfortunately, I had already soldered clips onto dropper wires on the track. I thought about desoldering them, but then I thought I may as well just cut them off using my trusty wire cutters from Aldi. I've removed the drawbridge section my plan is to replace the hinges with the cabinet hinges. Now the way I'm going to install them is like this where they're closed when the drawbridge is down when they're open it lifts the drawbridge up and away and I'm hoping <laughs> that that's going to work for the drawbridge itself. In order to remove these little blocks here I'm going to have to remove everything. So I've now removed the drawbridge itself and both ends of the connecting boards. Um, I have discovered that they're not straight when it goes from one board to the other. So I was basically setting myself up to fail from the start. Now I've just put a piece of laminate down just to kind of give you an idea of what's going to be happening with the acrylic sheet. On the side that's closest to the rocky bridge section, that will be pretty much as it was before, where the join will be more or less at the edge of the boards themselves. However, on the other side, I'm going to allow it a little bit more space. I'm hoping that this basically allows the track to line up a lot easier as well. Rather than having it all lined up at the end, um, it should hopefully line up in the middle of a board, which will be a lot simpler. Hopefully, this will mean that no matter what happens, even if the wood does sort of shrink and expand a little bit, then the top of the drawbridge section will remain 
snug and flush. I'm also going to make sure that the tracks are more overlapped than they were before as well. Now the reason that I included foam originally on the baseboards is because I wanted to just cover up any kind of bumps or lumps between the joins of the bits of wood that I've used for the baseboards. I also had it in mind that it would be good for keeping noise down, which to be fair in a shed is, is neither here nor there really. I am reconsidering whether I should leave the foam down pull it all up. The only downside to pulling it all up is some of the screws jut up a little bit where the tracks would run. So obviously with the foam down it would cover over that. But it would be interesting to know what are your thoughts? Have you used any kind of like foam on your baseboards? What do you recommend? Because you know I, I'm new to this obviously as you know. Um, obviously I am aware that people use cork underneath their tracks. Um, does it have any benefit other than, you know, just looking nice for a nice shoulder of ballast? Um, please let me know. Drop your comments down below. Um, I would be really interested to know what you think as well. So, um, yeah, let me know.